I know we're only two weeks into the NFL season, but I truly believe that it is not too early to say that Baker Mayfield might have just revived his career. You see, the Tampa Bay Bucks are off to a surprising 2-0 start onto the season, and that's in large thanks to their QB, the guy behind center, Mr. Baker Mayfield. And he's got big shoes to fill because for the last three seasons, you know, Tampa Bay has been the home to Tom Brady. This is where Tom Brady finished his career. This is where he showed up in his first season and won a Super Bowl. So following the guy like Tom Brady is very hard to do, let alone for a man whose career is on the verge of ending. And it's crazy to think that because he was a first round pick in 2018, the first overall pick by the Cleveland Browns. Yeah, that was Baker Mayfield in 2018, less than six years ago. And now his career was on the verge of falling off. Well, thanks to Todd Bowles, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, the whole gang in Tampa, they might just find a way to keep Baker in the NFL. You see, Baker Mayfield spent his first four seasons with the Cleveland Browns where, you know, he went and basically uplifted the franchise. By himself? By no means was it by himself, all right? I mean, sure, the franchise before him, you know, was only winning zero games a season. They went uh, zero and 16. The second team in the NFL history to go an entire season without winning. But, you know, Baker Mayfield shows up a year or two later. They get a new head coach in Freddie Kitchens. They ran through a ton of offensive coordinators in Baker Mayfield's time there. But while he was with the Browns, they made the playoffs for the first time in forever. I mean, the Browns made their first playoff appearance in 2020 with Baker Mayfield uh, under the guidance of Kevin Stefanski. And that was the first time they had made it since 2002. So yeah, Baker Mayfield and a bunch of the guys like Miles Garrett got this team to the playoffs. And not only did they make it to the playoffs, but they went all the way to the divisional round where they would face the Kansas City Chiefs. And we know how that went. Uh, you know, Patrick Mahomes would get injured. Chad Henney would end off the game. And they still found a way to win somehow. But in his time in Cleveland, he, you know, he kind of developed. He had really good development. Mainly due to Kevin Stefanski, I do think Freddie Kitchens held him back just a bit, right? But Kevin Stefanski got some of the best out of Baker Mayfield. Really brought those Oklahoma Sooners days out of him. Now, early on in his career, turnovers would be a big issue here. He did have 14 interceptions and 21 in his first two seasons. Uh, but they would kind of dissipate when he headed into the 2020 season, where he really picked things up. Because... His first season, he would go 6-7, and seven, playing in 13 games. Second season, 6-10, and 10, right? But the team and Baker Mayfield found more success in 2020, where they went 11-5. Baker threw for 26 touchdowns, only had 8 interceptions. His QBR would, you know, go slightly up, get a little bit of a boost. His rating would take a huge boost up as well. So his completion percentage was at around a career high. He's never been the best at his completion percentage, right? It's always been low 60s, high 50s for him. That's another issue he hasn't been able to solve in his tenure in the NFL. And then 2021 rolls around. Baker Mayfield gets hurt. The team underperforms. They go 6-8 and eight with Baker playing. They do not make the playoffs. It's kind of a rough year for everybody in the organization. Touchdowns kind of dip. 2022 comes around and Baker Mayfield's off the team. Why? Because a certain somebody from the Houston Texans was obviously available for reasons we won't get into. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the Cleveland Browns decided to give Deshaun Watson the biggest contract in the NFL at the time. A ridiculous overpay, if we're being honest. And that kind of meant that Baker Mayfield was getting pushed out the door. Now, this forced Baker Mayfield to find a new home, find it fast. Where would he go? He would go to Carolina, where he had a battle for the job with Sam Darnold. And he would end up winning the job, only to lose it midway through the season after they got off to a rough 1-5 start in the games that he started in. He turned out, His turnovers came back, had six interceptions, had six touchdowns. He didn't play his best in Carolina, obviously. He didn't even finish the season in Carolina. That's how bad that experiment went. But, you know, that Carolina, that QB competition, I actually made a video about it. And, you know, it helped grow the channel. So, we'll take that. Thank you, Baker. Anyway, he would go on to finish the rest of his season 
last year with the LA Rams when Matthew Stafford went down. They looked to Baker Mayfield to possibly save them. And in what, three quick days, Baker Mayfield learned the playbook as best he could, went out and actually won a game for the Rams. Of course, he would lose the rest of the games that he played for the Rams, but he won his first one on three days notice. And he did play slightly better, if we're being honest, when he was with the LA Rams. This man has only had the same offensive coordinator for back-to-back seasons once. He's gone through, what, six offensive coordinators at this point? Every year, it's a new offense that Baker has to learn. Maybe if he had more stability, he would be able to perform better. But unfortunately, we might never know. Now that he is playing better with Tampa Bay, maybe he extends the excellence that Tom Brady brought to the organization. Like I said, Tom Brady in his first year won a Super Bowl. In the second year, they lost in a crazy divisional game to, I want to say, the LA Rams. That game was awesome. Honestly, Tom Brady almost came back and won that one. And had he, he probably would have won the Super Bowl versus Joe Burrow. We won't, you know, we won't play the hypothetical game. And then in 2022, Bruce Arians has to retire. Todd Bowles is brought on. Tom Brady retires and then unretires. The team is kind of shaken up. They go eight and nine, still win the division because the division's super weak and then losing the wild card. Tom Brady's retired. Baker Mayfield is handed the keys to the organization. Let's see what he can do with it. Right now he's 2-0. Next week he'll be 3-0, probably. And if Tampa Bay keeps winning, and they don't have to win a lot, because like I said, the division is super weak. So if Tampa Bay wins the division, maybe they give Mike Evans that contract he wants. Maybe Baker Mayfield is taken more seriously. He was the first pick for a reason. I mean, his time in Oklahoma, absolutely phenomenal. This dude won the Heisman Trophy with the Oklahoma Sooners in 2017, was the big 10, 12, uh, I want to say the big 12 player of the year, offensive player of the year twice in 2015 and 2017. So he's had success at a high level of football before. And if he's able to ride this wave in Tampa, he might just be a franchise guy like everybody hoped he would be for Cleveland, right? But anyway, that's about it for this video. Is it way too early? Yeah, it is. It's only been two weeks. Of course, it's early, but it's something to talk about, right? I mean, the Vikings game was a bit of a surprise. The Bears won not so much, but who knows? Maybe they roll on with this momentum. Catch y'all later. Deuces.